Ryan Garcia says there's a witch hunt and the powers that be are out to get him with the latest fail from the Devin Haney fight. So much to talk about. And Golden Boy says they believe Ryan Garcia. Now, before I get started, we're over 57,000 followers at Boxing Ego 1. Link in the description. Join so you don't miss a thing in boxing and sports entertainment. I'm the best in the business and it's not even close. So you guys see it. Ryan Garcia claims there is a witch hunt against him. He says there's a witch hunt. People are trying to sabotage him. The Matrix, yada, yada, yada. He says, is this true chat? And he's bringing up Victor Conti. He says the gloves does not fit. Famous OJ line. Hmm. I'm seen with Trump and now I'm positive for steroids. This is a straight attack. Crazy. They are trying to make my greatest victory. Take away my greatest victory. I don't care. I love God. He will make this right. Nah, I'm not going to rematch Devin. I beat him easily. Fair and square. I'll be danged if I rematch him. The odds makers are heated because I took down the house. Ha ha ha. So for whatever reason, Ryan Garcia is, you know, back almost like jovial and joking. Golden Boy hasn't said much, but they did get on record with the press release, which you guys can find. And Golden Boy promotion said they stand by Ryan and they say, quote, we believe him. Los Angeles, California, May 1st. Ryan has put out multiple statements denying knowingly using any banned substances now that part is scary right there because it says he has put out multiple statements denying knowingly using any banned substance because in the world of boxing it doesn't matter if you know or don't know you are responsible for what's in your system right because if that's the case then everyone could be like oh i didn't know ignorance is no excuse if you're speeding in a new state like let's say you go to omaha and you're speeding and you didn't know the speed limit was 60 and you're doing 80, they're going to give you a ticket. He says, and we believe him. We are working with his team to determine how this finding came to be. And we'll address this further once we conclude that process. So I don't know, man. We have to wait and see how this truly plays out. But for me, it's not looking great for Ryan Garcia. Unless he has some tricks up his sleeve. Here's the kicker. The preliminary reports say that Osterine was found in his system. If it's just the Osterine, he has a better chance of winning. However, there were statements that there were multiple different substances in his system, including Nandrolone. And let me tell you, if Ryan... Has Nandrolone, which is an anabolic steroid in his system, then Ryan is cooked. Because certain banned substances is going to be near impossible to explain away. Different substances, depending on how it's ingested into the body, is it a, you know, some sort of intravenous method is it a needle you know whatever is it oral you just take a pill like it just depends on how but some things there's and some things are so unnatural and especially at high levels and unnaturally occurring that if you have nandrolone in your system then it's you're you're basically cheating so that test they said they're waiting because it's not confirmed as of me recording this video but in my opinion if if he has it's kind of common sense if you get busted with one thing that's maybe possible to explain then that's that if you get busted the more things that they find in your system and the more dates that you fail on that's where it's going to become almost impossible think jarrell big baby miller when jarrell big baby miller initially the reports came out and said he tested positive for x y and z and i think he went public and said hey you know we're looking into it but then more reports came out that he failed for this 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 and it was like a ped cocktail and it's kind of common sense 
If you got a list, a laundry list of different substances in your building or in your body, then, you know, it's going to be hard to just explain that away. Uh, Ryan's taking the angle of somebody tampered with his sample or Victor Conti, things like that. Listen, I'm going to wait and see how this plays out, but I'm just telling you what to expect. In fact, if you watch my content, I foreshadowed this whole thing. I said, this. these are my exact words. I said, I don't like to fight for Devin Haney. It's really a lose-lose situation for Devin Haney because if Ryan wins, then he looks like a prophet because he played around and he was doing all these antics that people thought, including myself, were truly b bizarre and weird. And if he wins, it looks like he's able to overcome all these games, all the gamemanship, all the antics, all this peculiar behavior that no one else has done. I told you he was acting weird, almost like manic. And you guys like, oh, it's just part of the show, blah, blah, blah. And I said, or if Ryan were to lose, then he has attracted such a weird fan base that people outside of boxing he was attracting, like QAnon, Trump supporters, and things like that. They were going to sympathize and empathize and just believe him, just like when Trump lost the election and then you had the insurrection and you had Trump fans in his base that would not take the loss and just accept it. And I think that that's why I said kept saying Ryan's a genius because the way he's playing it, he's putting himself in a win win situation. When you develop such a radical base, like if you get beat up, then they're going to say, um, oh, that was cap he was drugged or you know whatever people are saying now that he's filled this test he's already had the built-in scapegoat and i told you and i don't think anyone else on boxing in boxing on youtube stated it and that's why i told you i wasn't doing a fight prediction for haney garcia because i just knew to expect the bs and i told you i said get ready for the bs there's going to be some controversy and overall people will be disappointed and at the end of the day did i lie so ryan's gonna now have to fight this case we'll see what happens and then it's just like like the other thing that's kind of forced is like devin haney said i don't want to hear no excuses after i beat this guy i train hard for this and you got to feel for him because imagine training like he does and training hard for a big event and then somebody is making it the laughing stock, the laughing stock of boxing and attracting like a non-boxing audience at that, that's probably not going to commit to support boxing monetarily. And you trained all hard. So, you you know, it, you got to feel bad for that. I feel bad for anybody. Like someone trained hard in the camp and then their opponent misses weight, they fight, get canceled or something. Or they pop dirty. You know, I feel bad for the opponent. But Devin Haney, he's saying like, oh, man, y'all got to give me credit. Ryan is making it super hard to give you a lot of credit based on how he's acting. He's acting like literally insane. So it's like he's trying to burn the money. That's what Ryan is acting like. It's too erratic. Some people think it's true. And that's his personality. Some people think he's on drugs. Some people think he's like anxiety or anxious. But some people think it's skullduggery. That's why I said I don't like the fight for Devin Haney because there's at this point, I really don't see the upside. You'll see on Saturday. You will see. If the fight makes it, if we make it to Saturday, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Come back to the channel. The way it plays out, I truly believe the world of boxing is going to be embarrassed. The world of boxing when it plays out, it's going to be like, what did I waste my time on? What did I invest my time on when it comes to that? I just I just have that feeling. I have a feeling like it's going to basically leave fans talking slash disappointed somewhere in there. I don't know exactly how it plays out, but I don't think it'll be like the sport of boxing won and grew crazy. Ryan knocks out Devin, um, 
controversy, disqualification. I mean, just look at the potential options for a fight. 